Good morning, everyone. I am uh, glad you guys can join us. We're going to get started in just a minute. I'm setting up our uh, simulcast over on YouTube, and then we'll get started. So just sit tight. Thanks so much. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I am so excited to see everybody here. It is uh, pretty neat seeing everybody from different areas. Um, so I am <laughs> talking to you from good old Jacksonville, North Carolina. I am uh, a couple hours away from the normal PhotoFi office, um, but uh, love working remote. This is actually a normal thing for me, so nothing different. I hope everyone out there is happy, healthy, and safe. Uh, so anyway, we're here today, um, Outer Banks, all right. Uh, we're here today to kind of go through Photo 5 from start to finish. If there's anyone who has yet to register, or if you are helping anyone learn how to register, um, this is the part for you. So um a couple of things actually before I totally get started is uh, if you could please uh, keep your questions in the Q&A box. If you look at the bottom of your screen, uh, you should see a little button that says Q&A. If you can go ahead and uh, pop your questions in there, that would be fantabulous, very helpful. Um, so I can uh, keep track of all of the uh, questions and um, Otherwise, uh, if you do happen to pop them in chat, we'll kind of go through. There's a lot of folks attending. So uh, Q&A will definitely help me uh, keep track of the questions instead of having to scroll through chat. So if anyone's having trouble finding that, please, please, please uh, let me know. I'll kind of keep an eye on the chat as it scrolls. Um, but let's see, uh, if you would like to join me, uh, the first stop for, um, <laughs> I love Fantabulous, Linda, or Lydia, sorry. Um, anyhow, if you please join me, uh, on the screen here is the website where you um, can join if you haven't already. If you have anyone that is interested in joining, just send them over. It's to uh, photofy.com forward slash Norwex. Super simple. I want to keep it really easy for you guys to find it. Uh, photofy.com forward slash Norwex is the website where you need to go or send anyone. Um, you'll see the page looks exactly like this. This gives a little description of, of what is available and uh, you can scroll down and kind of see things. There's also um, information on how to sign in here, it tells you a little bit about the tokens. And at the very bottom, check this out, there's links to tutorials. Uh, if you want to sign up for the webinars, how to register uh, for the um, subscription, and then you can also contact support. So um, what you would do is go ahead and tap on get started and then fill out this form here. Just a reminder, 
The email address that you enter here must match exactly the email address that you pop into the, uh, or excuse me, the email that you're registered with the Norwex Office Suite subscription. Very, very important. Um, our system contacts theirs to make sure that you are a member of Norwex, a consultant, and uh, it will match up that email address. So make sure that whatever you put in this field right here matches up with the uh, email address that you have registered with Norwex for your Office Suite subscription. Uh, if it does not, you will um, be sent back to the page to register again. Um, if you continue to have problems, just go to the bottom, contact support, or contact Norwex and make sure that uh, you have the correct email address. I do know some people will forget a, a, a dot or a hyphen or an underscore, and it uh, unfortunately does not allow them to register until they get it uh, exactly on. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the phone so I can show you how to sign in. So let me go ahead and switch my Zoom screen here. And I can show you how to actually access this from your device. All right, so uh, registered on that website. You'll then go to your app store and search for Photofy content creation. If you type in Photofy, we'll come up, but look for Photofy content creation. Our logo is the orange circle with the P on it. So go ahead and click on that. Mine says open because I've already got it loaded, but if you don't, go ahead and install and you're good to go. Once you've got the app installed, you'll have your icon, double click on that. And the first time you open up, you actually see a couple of uh, pictures, which are really cute, um, but you can swipe through and it'll take you to the business or to the sign on screen, which looks exactly like, sorry, I'm navigating this with my mouse here, uh, which looks like this. Go and click business sign on. And then you're gonna enter your email address and password. And I've got mine saved in here. or maybe not. There it is, okay. There, so then you'll sign in. The first time you sign in, you will um, have a pop-up screen that's asking you to fill out some information. That is your profile information that will uh, pre-populate into various templates or um, logos that are within the uh, subscription assets. So fill that out once, you don't have to fill it out multiple times, but it will save you time as you're creating images uh, to use for your marketing. So just a quick tour, uh, this is what your main screen will look like. Anytime you contact support and they tell you to tap on the menu, this is what we're talking about right here. So three lines at the top left, and this brings up um, some other things. So project schedule, repost settings, support uh, message center. Let's see, so we'll go ahead and close that out. Images is your background images. These are images, everything in here is provided to you by Norwex. So they'll be keeping this up to date um, according to their marketing schedule. So they'll upload new things for you all the time. Um, they do have these broken down to, into categories. So there's lifestyle, new products, party invites. And these are great for um, using for uh, creating your own free form type images. So you can kind of grab some seasonal things and have fun with it. So we're past Easter, there's some stuff in there. Um, you can also use images that are in your albums. And um, this will allow you to use images that you have on your device. If you have images in Facebook or Instagram, if you connect that, you can uh, use those as well. It'll access your photos there. And same with Dropbox and Google Drive. All right, so that is photos and collages. And real quick, someone was asking, do you have to choose business? You don't have to choose business sign-in. Um, we typically just kind of direct people there um, since it is a business, but you can sign with individual and it all works exactly the same. 
uh, artwork. This is where you're gonna find all of your logos and uh, fun overlays or stickers if you like to call them. Uh, they do also have them broke down into categories. So customer specials, holiday shopping, consultant info, host rewards, all kinds of stuff. So you would use these on top of your um, photos and backgrounds. So they've got them broken down pretty well into different categories here. All you would do is um, choose one of those after you've gotten into your image and, and go from there. Now, some people will start because they know what products they wanna highlight. They'll start here in artwork and choose an image and get a little confused because then it takes them to this. This is okay, this is what you want. Um, this is taking you to a background because it needs a place to overlay that uh, piece of artwork from. So once you choose a background, just go to continue and now your product is on top of your background. So don't be confused. I promise it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start over here. And then next is templates. These are pre-formatted, ready to go, super easy to use. All you have to do is change uh, an image, change a little text and share off. So you can choose anything in here and um, make a couple changes and make it your own. So now there are limitations as far as how much text you can put it and text does not move around nor do the you know circles or anything you see in there. They are pre-formatted just for quick sharing but a lot of times you can kind of recreate something um, that you like and uh, using the free form creation options and then uh, basically create your own custom template using the projects feature. And I'll show you that a little later on. So we'll go ahead and back out of here. Um, let's see, there's my mouse, there it goes. Okay, next is going to be repost. These are images that are already done for you. Norwex has created these for quick and easy sharing. Uh, you don't have to do anything to them. A lot of times there will be text behind it if there's like a message they want to share with something. And um, that will copy to your clipboard. You'll get a message saying so. So if we choose this and say, I wanna share this off to Instagram, it's mop month. If there was any text behind it, a message would pop up saying that uh, this text has been copied to your clipboard. You just have to paste it. So once you hit, the social channel you want to share it to, it automatically takes you to that social channel. So right now I'm actually in my Instagram app. Um, so everything would just kind of go from there. So let me go ahead and get out of Instagram and go back to Photofy. And we'll start over. So that is a quick tour of features. I noticed some people are talking about scheduler. So I am showing you an iPhone. The scheduler is available right here on the main screen if you have an iPhone. Unfortunately, on Android, it's not. It is developed completely separately. Um, we are working on trying to get things uh, matched up more closely, but um, there's a lot of things that kind of go into that. So scheduler is still an option for you if you have an Android phone. It's just not going to be right here on the front screen, and that's okay. I'll show you how to find it. Um, inspiration. You should both have that. Um, but this is an inspiration stream of images that other consultants have created that Norwex has liked or um, starred in their uh, admin uh, section that they figure would be really nice to share out to give you guys some ideas. Um, everything in here is created with PhotoFi using the tools available in your PhotoFi subscription, uh, ex except of course, personal images of like this tea kettle. Um, but the before and after and the logo and all that's in here. So you can, um, laundry day, that looks like my laundry. <laughs> um, this gives you some ideas. You cannot click on them and edit them, um, but it does give you some ideas. You can, you know, feel free to screenshot and copy um, as closely as you can, anything like that. So just for inspiration. All right, um, so now that I've gone through some of those, let me go ahead and um, go through some questions real quick here in the Q&A section. So you have a Samsung Note 10 Plus, can't forget how to add my font. So in the um, Norwex side, you're not gonna be able to add custom fonts because they've um, restricted it to keep their fonts on brand. Uh, on the personal side, there is a way to do it. And Misty, if you contact me, uh, support.photofy.com and go to the top right where it says submit a request, I can go ahead and send you a link to a tutorial on how to do that. Um, but that would be only available on your personal side. It will not be available on the Norwex side. 
Uh, Sandy, you recently changed your email address in the Norwex system. Perfect. Okay, so if you've updated your email address with Norwex, then what you want to do is come into your app, tap on the menu, the three lines at the top left. Actually, this is a good time to show you guys tokens as well. Go to your settings, and then you'll tap on manage profile. This may take a moment to load, um, but we'll go ahead and go from there. So stay tuned. Uh, is there any way to join a separate Photofy emailed account where I have purchases? If you have a personal account, Christine, um, what you may want to do if you don't already have a uh, Norwex account, um, what we can do is uh, update your email address and then um, you can register with the Norwex one. Um, it, email me again, support.photofy.com um, and we can take a look at that. Um, Kelly, scheduler button. It looks like you've got um, Android. So like I said, it's not gonna be on that main menu, but scheduler is still available and I will make sure that we get to that. Okay, so back to updating your photo or excuse me, your email address. Um, in the manage profile section right here, you can update your email um, just right up there and then hit save profile. Uh, as far as tokens go, if you have any um, differences in your, I'm not sure why this is so different. Uh, oh, you know why? Because I've got a different one up there too. Um, okay, so update tokens. Um, if you maybe have a typo or um, if you wanted to change something, what you can do is go in here. It's supposed to be email. So we'll say Jane Smith. Oops, at photofy.com. Not really my name, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll say Facebook. Com. I can't type today, can I? Slash J Smith Norwex. So we'll say that's my business page. And then my personal page is just going to be facebook.com forward slash J Smith. My Instagram will say J Smith Norwex. So you can change all of this in here. And then, oops, you can either um, you can save them individually, or you can save them all at once. So, um, totally depends on what you want to do. Um, do 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 six four eight four. Okay. So again, you can go ahead and you'll see the lines all turned yellow. That means that I've made changes to them. If you tap on the individual um, uh, save icon on the right, it'll save individually. <laughs> I know predictive text is awful sometimes, or you can go ahead and save all tokens and that'll save them all at once. Um, this is, uh, does take some time, but once they turn green, that means they've been updated and uh, we'll go ahead and move forward once that happens. Okay, uh, let's see. So let me go back through some of the q and A. I don't have scheduler. Okay, do you have to choose business? No, you don't. Um, so you can actually sign in with either one. The buttons do go to the same exact place. We just did that to kind of um, direct people to signing in more because we have a lot of folks that didn't sign in before. Uh, is there a way to access only certain things either in French or English? So if you're talking about artwork, everything that's in there is provided by Norwex. Um, definitely give them some feedback. If you guys are needing other languages available, um, we don't create um, their images for them. So if you're looking for other languages, definitely give that feedback to Norwex. Um, okay, back to scheduler. How do you change it and make it your own? Uh, Susan, if you can kind of elaborate, are you talking about um, the templates or are you talking about um, just kind of creative freeform creation? Uh, let's see, and schedule on iPad, it is available on the iPad. 
so you can use it there. Uh, let's see, I want to send to a group on Facebook or just save to my computer. What about compliance? So as far as compliance goes, um, all of the assets in here are provided by Norwex. Uh, so they've basically uh, approved your creations. If you have any questions about compliance, feel free to send them that information or your image um, if you're worried about it. But um, because all of the assets in here are given to you by them, uh, that it shouldn't be any issue. Um, let's see. And yes, I'm going through the app, Kimberly, because we do not have a uh, computer version. Photofy was envisioned and developed specifically for on the go creation um, on mobile devices. So it's available on any Android and iOS phone or tablet. Unfortunately, we don't have a desktop version. And yep, I will definitely go through scheduling. Okay, and Karen, yes, it is an app available in there in the uh, iOS or Android um, app stores. There is no fee to use this. This is uh, available as a benefit um, as being a Norwex consultant. So you can register for this, no additional cost to you. All right, let me go ahead and I love all these questions. I'm gonna go ahead and get moving. This is, um, taking a while to save. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move out of here. Not sure why it doesn't like me today. But we'll just pretend. Okay. Um, I will have to figure that out a little later on. It could be just because we've got a lot going on in the house right now. All right. So uh, let's start with uh, templates. Let me go ahead and show you um, how to use these. So we're gonna go ahead and create a quick template uh, or actually just use one. Let's just say, we're gonna celebrate Mop Month. When is Mop Month? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so we've got some images here. If you wanna change your image, you can just click on that or tap on it and hit replace. And then we're gonna go through here and find a different image that we wanna use. So again, if you have personal images you want to use, you can access them through here. Last month, oh no, I'm a month late, sorry. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, this one's kind of got some mop stuff in it, so we'll pretend. All right. Now, if we want to do a party, right here is where all of our text is. Um, whether you're doing a um, individual, or excuse me, online party, or... Um, you know, in-person party, as soon as we're able to have those again, I'm so excited. You can change this, in fact. So if you want to say something else, instead of celebrate Mop Month, you can just click on those particular um, text fields. So we can say, hey, spring clean in time. Um, and then input all of your information here. So we're going to go ahead and say, I keep wanting to go to my keyboard every time I do this. It's driving me crazy. All right. So let's go ahead and clear this out. We're going to say June... 10th because I'm picking a date um, at 5 p.m. Uh, RSVP on my Facebook page. Uh, and then, um, yeah, <laughs> I see typos. All right, on my Facebook page, and then we'll say, you know, invite a friend, win prizes. And we're done. All right, so tap done. That now shows up. And we're going to change my name here. Jane Smith. So whoever's up at Norwex can see my art, my images and like, who is Jane Smith? He creates a bunch of stuff. Celebrate, it's spring cleaning. All right, so we'll say, I am happy with that. We'll go ahead and tap apply. And if I want to see this and preview it before I move on, I can click on those two arrows right next to the done button or the check mark if you have Android and uh, kind of see it without all the craziness around it. 
I like it, we're good. I'm gonna click on done. And now it takes me to the sharing page and I can share to all of these, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, et cetera, et cetera. Android users, here's where you're gonna find schedule. Uh, iOS, it's here too, um, but Android, since you don't have a schedule button on the front, you can access it right here. Tap on schedule, start here with enter time and date. And we're just gonna go ahead and let it default to the next available time because I wanna go ahead and show you how it works. Uh, and here we're gonna enter a caption. So join me for an online party. Bring wine <laughs> and a friend. All right, next. I'm gonna choose Instagram and tap done. And now it says, congratulations, your photo has been scheduled. So if I wanna manage it now, I can go over here and this will take me to all of my scheduled posts and show me when they're scheduled for. Um, and I can make changes. If I tap on that individual post, it'll show me edit or delete or cancel. We'll go ahead and cancel and go back. So something to keep in mind is Photofy does not automatically post for you. Uh, there are restrictions from third party, um, on third party apps from the social um, companies, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, that don't allow us to auto post because it's a spam um, thing. But uh, you will get a push notification. Uh, so make sure that when you sign on it and it asks you about push notifications, make sure you turn those on, you allow them. If you didn't already, you can do that in your settings um, and make sure you turn your notifications on right here at the bottom. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to tell you is photo access. You wanna make sure that's turned on so that all of your images are saved to your device. Um, I did see someone mention that um, they want to know how to delete uh, images from their Photofy folder. Uh, if you are uh, either iOS or Android, just go to whatever your photo um, uh, gallery is and you can find them in there and then you can go ahead and just delete. So nothing super uh, crazy there. They're all saved to probably your camera roll or if you have a Photofy folder in there, um, that's the other option where it will be. All right, um, let's see. On to, let's see, okay. So I went over scheduler, going through some questions again. Uh, can we create an image for a Facebook profile cover? You can actually, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, and unfortunately, Mariah, no, this is all, um, all mobile. We don't uh, have a way for you to do that on the desktop, I apologize. Um, are you allowed to repost the ones that are already done that don't have a consultant name on it? You are. Um, these were created by Norwex for you to share freely. So um, anything in the repo section, feel free to share um, everywhere. Uh, they are all compliant. And how do you get your designs compliant? They are, um, they're, everything in there is provided by Norwex. So um, again, if you have any questions on that, please um, let, uh, let Norwex know your feedback. And Rachel, you're saying, will this be available for me to use to help my team? If you're talking about this webinar, yes, this is being recorded and it will be available on the um, tutorials website. So if you go back to photofy.com forward slash Norwex, go all the way to the bottom and um, go ahead and find the view tutorials link and it will be there. Okay, uh, is there an easy way to use two images? Like if you wanted to showcase a few products on top of a background. So here is, the yes and the no of that. Um, let's go ahead and go to photos and collages. Um, let me go ahead and they have a lot of um, products here for you. So if there's uh, products that you want to showcase, what you can do is create them as a collage. Um, alternatively, let's see, let's go ahead and pick a couple. Let's just grab these two things here. Um, you can hit continue. And then I don't really like how two images looks. And I really want to add like another button for um, or another section for like my info. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to edit layout and I'm going to change the collage. And it's only going to give me the twos because I've got two images selected. But then if I go all the way to the right, there's more. So now I can select three. So let's go ahead and select three. And now this gives me a blank page here. Yes, I know I have to apply, good gracious. 
Okay, so I'm gonna tap on the photo. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a blank background. So we'll just use this blue. So now I've got this area right here where I can change up. I'm gonna switch these. So I'm gonna tap on this image and I'm gonna hit swap. Cause I think this one will look better on the large feature. So I've got these here. Oh, and now my post is ready. Do I wanna send a post? So let's hit, okay. I think I might lose that, but that's okay. But now it's taking me to Instagram. My post is ready and it's got me going straight into my Instagram app. So I can just continue and share from there. So if you see that notification pop up, that means that your uh, image is ready to go that you've scheduled. So, all right. Let me go back. Hey, it didn't disappear. Sweet. Okay, so I swapped those two. I like this, but I think the borders are a little big. So I'm gonna click on, whoops, wrong one. I'm gonna click on border. And I'm gonna size them down just a little bit. You see that blue box got a little bit bigger. And actually I wanna change the color. I kind of like that red color and that cloth there. So I'm gonna choose spectrum, scroll up, check this out. Not a lot of people know about this. And I'm gonna go right there. Yeah, but it's changing the background too. Hmm, let's do this. I'll make it blue. All right, apply. And we'll apply that. <laughs> and now we're gonna go ahead and add some overlays. So if you forgot a product, here's where you can have fun with that and add more. Go to your artwork button and find your products in the artwork and say like, oh gosh, I totally forgot to add this new product. Um, let's add this stuff here. You can add that over everything and you can kind of move it around. So this one you can move around to fit wherever needed. The other ones are kind of stuck in size, but you can. So let's just, uh, I'm going to go back and get out of that because I actually don't want another product. Let's see. We'll remove. All right, go back to artwork because I do want to put my logo in here. So we're going to grab this Norwex logo here that's all white. And you'll see that the name pops up. I really need to change that. I don't know how that got changed. And... Update that. And we're gonna go ahead and move this over and I'm gonna click on format and resize this. So now it fits. Tap apply. And I'm just gonna use my finger to move it up a little bit because I wanna add some text now and say, add my, I don't know, contact info. So contact me and we'll add a phone number. apply. And here's the fonts that they have available for you. I really love rock salt. It's so pretty. I can put that there. Hit apply. Done. So here's another question I get. So I really like this. Now I can share this off. So I have people that will say, hey, I completed this image, but I noticed a typo. Can I change it? If you are still on this page, absolutely. You can tip, uh, tap the back button and it'll take you right back to um, the editing screen. Once you navigate away from that sharing page, unfortunately, um, there is no way to go back because uh, when you hit done or the check mark to finish off, uh, everything flattens. All these things are put in in layers um, and it's saved as a JPEG and flattened out so you cannot make any edits. So make sure that if you notice something, check it out. If you notice it, go back and you can make edits again. Uh, another feature we have is called projects. If you like this format and you think you want to use it again, you can essentially create your own template. Um, like I was saying, you can kind of recreate the templates that um, you liked in the template section, but you wanna have a little more freedom. You can go back and kind of you know screenshot it and. Uh, have it available or what have you um, so that you can um, kind of recreate ish the whole thing. Um, but if you click on this uh, little piece of paper here, we'll say blue background, hit save and now your project has been saved. So now I can go back and change these images. I can change the logo. I can change the text. Um, even if I've completely navigated away from this image.
So where you find these is actually in the menu and projects. So you can go in here and you can either delete it if you're done with it or you can open it to make changes again. So this is a super important feature that's kind of taking me back here. I'm not sure why it did that. That's kind of funky. But we can go back and change these again. Oops. Uh, and then if I wanted to, I can go ahead and do whatever. If I like red instead, I can change that. But anyhow, so that is um, one feature that is available for you as projects. All right, something else I want to share. Um, if you are doing a lot of uh, online parties right now or you want to try doing an online party right now, you can create a Zoom background. So easy. Um, what you're going to do is go ahead and start with photos and collages. And you can grab any background image that you want. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, custom one with uh, products in the background, or you can just um, do, you know, your name or your logo or contact info so that appears to the side of you. Uh, but what you're going to do is grab any background, tap on edit layout, and go to ratio. Now, I already have one in here um, because I created it before, but you'll see even for other sizes for different things. Um, these are suggested sizes um, based on um, just, you know, different what's popular, but you can create, I know someone asked about making a, a cover photo, a custom dimension. There's this button here, add custom dimensions. You can name your custom dimension, whatever you want to name it, whether you do, um, you know, Zoom background or Facebook cover or anything like that, type it in here and then you're going to enter your width and height. Uh, in pixel sizes, please make sure it's in pixel sizes. Um, real quick, let me show you. Um, if you go to support.photofy.com, this is our support page on mobile, but type in custom ratio. Oops. And that first article that comes up is going to be a huge help. So if you want to create your own custom ratios, these are suggested, um, I kind of pulled these together. If you're doing prints, these are pixel sizes for you. Uh, Zoom does recommend 1920 by 1080 as far as the background goes, but depending on your camera, you may need to adjust that. I know my camera is not like super HD quality, so this is actually too big for mine. Um, so I reduced that just a little bit and it shows up pretty well. Um, digital business cards, if you're gonna do um, the typical like two and a half inch by three inch, I think, or four inch, um, you can um, use the 1050 by 600. And then for Facebook, custom dimensions, cover photos look like 828 by 315 or 851 by 315 for personal profiles. Um, different things right here. So feel free to use this. Again, support.photofy.com and just search custom ratio and this will come up here. So let's go and create a Facebook one. Um, the cover photo will use 828 by 315. So let's go back and so Facebook cover and it said 828 by 315. So now you'll see my Facebook cover there. So you can change that, um, kind of move things around. All right, so Zoom, we're gonna go ahead and use Zoom though. And we're gonna move this picture. I don't really like that background, but we can change it. So we'll replace this now that we've got the right size and kind of pick one that fits better. Let's see. How will this one fit? That looks pretty cool. And then I can also add overlays, add my contact info, et cetera, et cetera, and have fun with it. And then we'll save it. Done. And let's see if I move that there. It's a little hard to see, right? So I'm going to hit apply. Here's another trick. Stickers. Stickers are my favorite. I'm going to use this square and I'm going to put this in the top corner. I'm going to change the opacity so I can see through it just a bit. Move it out, hit apply. And now I'm going to click on this little 
button in the top right of my Norwex logo and I'm going to bring this forward. And the reason I do that is because now I'm going to move it over that sticker and you can see it stand out just a little bit more. All right, so now I'm done. And here's my Zoom background. So if I get on a Zoom meeting with anyone, I can upload this, um, share it to my computer. I can either email it to myself or put it in a Google Drive folder or however I can airdrop um, and actually share it up to my computer so that then I can upload it into Zoom and uh, use it as my photo background. And here I can show you real quick what that would look like. Uh, let's see, so done. That is sending, sending, sending. All right, well, that is working. Let me go ahead and grab a couple more questions here. All right, so in Photofy, can we create an image for a Facebook profile photo? Yes, okay, so I just went through that and used those custom ratios. Um, let's see, is there an easy way to use two images if you wanna showcase a few products? Yes, um, you can either use the collage feature or again, you can just grab a background and start putting your artwork over it. Uh, in categories, would it be possible to have them separated by languages? That is something you would have to give feedback to Norwex on. Um, unfortunately, they are the ones that can kind of maneuver all of that. Um, and then templates, let's see. <laughs> I think my daughter just came close by. All right, so now that I've got that um, uploaded to my computer, let me go ahead and set up a little green thing here. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm going to choose my virtual background in Zoom. Unfortunately, uh, you can't see this part of it because I'm not sharing my computer screen, but um, if I choose a background, I can upload a new one and then there it is, hit open. And once that's loaded, and you'll see it's going to be a little bit crazy because, like I said, my computer screen or my camera is not um, the correct size. But, all right, if you can see, yeah, I don't know if you're able to see my computer screen or my screen in the top right hand corner. Um, I believe it should show up, but there's a background there. <laughs> see me peeking. All right, so there is um, how to do a virtual background. All right, let me go ahead and stop the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of that. Uh, the other thing is Instagram uh, stories. Instagram stories, you can also use, let's see, photos and collages. And if you want to share maybe a new product, you can go in here and we will grab, I love these cloths. Okay, continue. We'll just hit apply. And then you're going to go to edit layout. And again, we're going to use the ratio. You'll see Instagram story, tap on that. I'm going to have to get rid of one of these pictures. Um, no. Here, I'm going ahead of myself here. I hit done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clear that out. Let's just grab a solid background. Go to this blue, cause it's just right there. Edit layout, go to ratio, Instagram story, hit apply. Okay, so now we're formatted for an Instagram story. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some artwork over that. So let's add my Norx consultant info. Done, apply, and now we're gonna add some artwork. So I think there was, uh, let's see. Actually, you could even do a picture of a person celebrating. If you have a picture of you, you could add those to your, um, to your computer as, or to your phone as well. Uh, let's see, artwork. Actually, let's go ahead and, um, Party with me. All right. 
There we go. So now we're ready. We go to Instagram. And in this instance, you're going to choose story. It's ready to go. You can still, again, you're in Instagram now, so you can still add more things over um, your uh, story post here, however you do Instagram. So um, you can add the little stay home. And then you can say uh, virtual party. Contact me for more info. And hit done. And then share off to your uh, Instagram story. So that could be fun. All right, let me go ahead and get out of here so that I don't actually post that. <laughs> All right, so we'll hit start over. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and go through some more um, questions here. Uh, how do you add a picture of yourself? If you have a picture of you, um, you can add it in your photos and collages. Uh, you would just choose the um, something off of your albums, your camera roll. So you can go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so French English Spanish, it is. Um, again, if um, that is something you'd like, definitely send that feedback over to Norwex. Um, Karen, a fee, this is available to you at no additional cost because you are a Norwex consultant. Uh, this is part of one of, one of the benefits of, of being a Norwex consultant is having this available to you. Um, and let's see, won't let me open my managed profile. So Safari can't open. Susan, uh, keep giving it a try. It could have to do a little bit with um, uh, internet connection. Um, if not, just keep trying. I know sometimes I have, I run into a little bit of issues. We've got meetings going on upstairs and all over the place in this house. So I think that might be why. Uh, let's see, what about adding my own pics? Do I need to send to compliance then? No, Stephanie, they have, um, they're, they're trusting you that you are um, going to post uh, proper imagery <laughs> and using the um, photos and everything that their artwork that they've given you, um, you are good to go. So uh, you struggle with the text part of the app, adding text, any tips? So um, it depends what your struggle is. If you know what you want to say, um, you can grab the text tool. And if you're finding that your text isn't showing well enough on your backgrounds, you can always use the shadow option or like I did use a sticker to kind of change the opacity to kind of just pop it out just a little bit more. Um, that might help, um, but uh, depends on what your struggle is. Uh, I like to use text to maybe add a phone number or contact info um, if it's not already popped up um, with the artwork or tokens that we're using already. Um, let's see. Is it okay to use an Oryx independent sales consultant on the image if you're using your own picture and editing it in Photify? According to everything that we know, um, it, they're giving you the ability to use your own images. Um, but again, if you have specific compliance questions, you're going to want to contact Norwex directly on that. Um, can you post to a certain group on Facebook? So uh, there are some restrictions on posting directly to groups, but um, if like directly from Photofy, but all of your images, as long as you've got them um, available or able to be saved, if you got your permission set, um, right here in the photo access, it should say on, um, looking at the very bottom of the screen there, it should save directly to your, um, uh, to, 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 to your device so that you can share, go to your Facebook group and then access them through there to share. Uh, let's see. Cannot put the image on top of background like you did. Can you show again? Please always get it as a layout in separate sections. Okay, so uh, if you're talking about when I was doing the collage, I did choose um, products in the background, but what you can do is go ahead and choose a um, solid background if you'd like to go that route and kind of make all of your images movable. 
So we're gonna hit continue. And if you wanna just add multiple products, you can. So just keep going back, moving them, resizing them however you need to. And then hit artwork again. And we'll add this. And then you can resize, twist, move, um, and use it like that. So that's another option. Um, let's see, can you access this video later? Yes, you can. You can access this on our tutorials website. If you go again to photofy.com forward slash Norwex and uh, scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a link to your tutorials page there. Uh, what can you do if an image is too big and you want to make it smaller, it just keeps enlarging? Um, well, you can do this. If you go ahead and set your size, let's see. If you wanna make this kind of small, what you can then do is uh, tap apply once you're done. I'm gonna go ahead and this is kind of funky corner here, but we're gonna move this. All right, this little button right here, hit lock. So it's actually gonna lock your image in place. So that is gonna stay there. Um, and you can do this with background. See, I accidentally grabbed the background instead of that artwork in front. So you can do that also with background, just click on the background. Uh, just a tiny bit. Actually, I'm gonna enlarge it so that it doesn't do that. And then you can hit lock there as well. So now the background won't move again. And I can grab whatever else I need and move it around. So lock is a cool feature. I like using that. Okay, um, let's see. And again, any compliance issues, guys, you're gonna want to contact uh, Norwex directly on that. Uh, let's see. If you share directly from face or from Photofy to Facebook, um, you should have the option to share to a Facebook time to your personal timeline or to the Facebook page. Uh, but it, groups are um, typically not um, an option through us. Um, but again, you can save it. It gets saved to your device, so you can go straight to that group and. Um, and then uh, share there and no scheduler will not work to groups, unfortunately. Um, how do you make the text one single color like black? Okay, so if you wanna add some text and change the color of the text instead of the basic white um, that comes up, let's just say, hello, apply. Now that you're on format, you can choose your font. I'm gonna use this and format. I'm gonna move it off of here so that we can see it a little bit better. Here's all the formatting fun stuff. So you can change the size here. You can also use your fingers to pinch or expand. Um, you can pick from our standard colors, which are just basic um, you know, choices here. Or if you don't want anything in here, say like you really want to use this purple that's in this item here, you can hit spectrum. Scroll up just a little bit and there's an eyedropper tool. You'll see that pop up here. And you can drag that over to that item there and hit apply. So that is one trick. There's also shadows. A lot of times I'll use a shadow um, to make something kind of pop out from behind. Uh, it doesn't always work depending on what font you've got. Um, but you can also play with how blurry it is or how far from the image it, uh, the text it is to make it a little more readable. And you can also change the opacity so it's not so dark. Um, so those are some options there. And so, and you can choose whatever color you'd like. All right, how to create a banner with multiple products. So uh, just like I was doing here, you can change your layout size um, to whatever you'd like it to be, and then use the artwork to keep stacking your images over that. Uh, can you change the size of the image or rotate like landscape to portrait instead of just a square? Again, that is um, absolutely possible. You can go into edit layout and then click on ratio and you've got all kinds of sizes in here. So you may have to move things around depending on um, what you've got. So like this one, we're gonna go ahead and unlock this and move it. And then this image here, of course that's out of there. All right, so there we go. So now you can move things around wherever you like them now that you've changed the sizes. 
And how do you get access to past projects you've worked on to tweak or reuse? So if you did not save them in your projects as a project by clicking on this little piece of paper icon here, unfortunately, there's no way to go back and change it. Um, so if you think it's something that you're going to want to tweak later, go ahead and um, save it as a project and then you can name it. And unfortunately, no, you cannot use the pictures inspiration. Um, they are there specifically for you to gain inspiration, um, but you cannot edit them in any way. Uh, and then saving your projects, again, are in the menu. And then, whoops, not settings, menu, and then projects right here. And again, you can access scheduler here as well. So if you have, if you wanna see what posts you have scheduled and ready to go, you can go there as well. All right, um, let's see. Is there a search bar to save time? Unfortunately, the only search bar in here is going to be in the stock photos. Um, so there is not a stock photo, or excuse me, in a search for artwork. Um, they've got them categorized out as best as they can, um, but you will have to kind of search through there. Uh, if you're doing a collage to delete one of the images, uh, if you used the photos and collages to create all of your backgrounds, so if you did something like this, then, um, and you want to change out one of the images, then all you have to do is tap on the image you want to change, and then you can replace or swap out with another one, you can move it around as well, but you can replace it and find something else. And now you can continue on from there. Um, let's see. And do, pe do many people use a scheduler? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I don't have statistics on that. Uh, I know it is one of the popular questions when I do the webinars. Uh, so I'm hoping a lot of people use it. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Where else am I going? I'm editing my picture and adding text. Often the graphic gets bigger. I have to back up and resize when I do around. So Bev, if you go ahead and lock that, um, you should be good to go. And only one size of image. I'm guessing you're talking about the ratio. You can go ahead and change those around. Um, I can't, you know, blue square and two images stuck on my screen. Can't figure out how to make the blue square my background. Um, it depends on how you did it. If you chose um, like this, where you were making a collage, um, that's one thing. Um, otherwise, what you can do is, again, go start with the blue square, the solid background, um, and then add your images on top of it using the artwork. So you can grab different things. Um, and then add, you know, you can use this artwork button as many times as you need to to grab different things. So you can kind of use it for just about anything. Uh, the box sets. So, and these you can place however you need to on the app. Just tap on what you need to move, resize. Um, I tend to use my fingers more than I use a mouse on here unless I'm actually teaching. Uh, let's see. So save projects. Ruth, again, there's a piece of paper icon in the top uh, bar. That is where you'll save your project. Um, good question, Susan. So if you've created a project and edited it and you want to um, build from there, yes, you do need to resave it. Um, if you're going to just keep that one as a template, you don't need to resave. It will stay there until you actually delete it. Um, do keep in mind though, these are saved on your um, device. So if you get a new device or if you get a, if you have like a major update, sometimes uh, projects can get deleted, unfortunately. Um, so it's not, um, it's not permanent. They're typically there until you delete them, but there are some things that can remove them. And let's see. And as far as ratio sizes for different apps, um, Facebook versus Twitter, you're gonna wanna go to support.photofy.com and type in um, custom ratio. And I've got several sizes there. Um, that's what I could find at the, at the time. 
Um, I'll go and see if there's any updates to that, but um, you could probably search uh, Facebook help or Twitter help or something like that for some of those as well. And let's see. Where do I go to just set up the Photofy account? Uh, do I have to have an account to use Photofy? Okay, Kelly, good question. So photofy.com forward slash Norwex is where you'll go to set up your account. You do need to set up an account, um, not previous. I mean, if you have one, that's no problem. Um, but go ahead and when you register, it'll create an account for you. Uh, you're going to want to use the same email address that you use uh, that Norwex has on file for your Office Suite subscription. That's how it lets you know or lets us know that you have um, access. So like I said, this is a benefit to being an Office Suite subscriber. Um, so uh, make sure that you have um, access to that. Uh, Rachel, how do you cut out a type a do a cutout type of picture like the one you just used. Um, so that that wasn't me. That was actually provided by Norwex. I don't know who that person was. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, uh, if you're going to cut something out, you're going to need to use uh, something like Photoshop or there is a background eraser um, app that I have that you can do things like that. Um, but as far as the um, using them within your Norwex stuff, you're going to need to use it as a background. So a whole photo, not a cutout. Um, they don't have the option to add custom stickers in here, custom artwork, unfortunately. Um, the only uh, differences or different images you can use are ones that are from your um, photos. So, um, Amy, how do you send pictures to compliance? That is something you're gonna have to talk to Norwex customer support about, I am not sure. Uh, and Terry, changing font sizes, um, you can do that on the formatting section of the font um, tool. So if you go here and you want to change, whoops, you want to change the font size, uh, tap on that format tab right there, and you've got all kinds of um, features here as, or editing tools here. You can change rotation, opacity, all kinds of good stuff. Um, you can keep tapping on this to make it larger, smaller, or you can also just kind of use your fingers and stretch it or pinch it however you need to. And you can do all kinds of stuff with that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> yes, you can change color of the font. On the ratio, it says name then. Okay, so Judy, when you're going to custom ratio, um, when you add a custom dimension, it says name and then blank by blank. So you're gonna name whatever it is that you're creating. So zoom background or what have you. Um, and then the width and height again is gonna be pixel sizes. Do not use inches. If you put in inches like four by five or four by six, um, it's gonna come out super teeny tiny because it's gonna think you want four pixels by six pixels, pixels. So make sure that you use pixel sizes in that section. Um, again, on the support page, uh, type in custom ratio, and that will give you all kinds of different things you can use. Um, is there an undo? So, good question. There is. So, on iOS, anyhow, um, there is that little um, undo button and redo button right at the top next to the projects button. Um, these two right here arrows. Let me see if that is an option on Android here. Um, dun, 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 dun. If I grab something. So unfortunately on Android, undo and redo is not an option. Um, it is on iOS and you know what, that's something I'm actually gonna bring up to our dev team to see if we can't add back, add in. I don't know if it's ever been a feature um, on Android, writing this down. Not sure why, but um, on iOS there is. Okay. And okay, so once this is over, um, if you go to photofy.com forward slash Norwex, let's see, photofy.com 
forward slash Norwex. And you scroll all the way to the bottom. There will be buttons right here. View tutorials is the one that you're gonna to wanna to go to to access this later on. Um, and Terry, how do you find all of the products to add on top of a background? They don't all come up in artwork. So whatever is available from Norwex is what's going to be available in the app. Um, they, however, uh, I mean, they manage everything that's available in there. Um, and they do remove things um, based on what's available uh, for, for sale or uh, what's going on with the marketing uh, schedule, you know, different sales seasons and all that kind of stuff. So um, unfortunately they may not have absolutely everything in there they try to kind of keep it with what's popular and, and um, up to date. Unfortunately, no, Christopher, you cannot make custom stickers for on the Norwex side. If you're going to do anything like that, um, there is the logo plus feature on the personal side. It is an additional purchase and it cannot be accessed on the Norwex side. It's only um, going to be on the um, uh, personal side of the app. I'm noticing my app settings is grayed out. What does that mean? So the word settings, yes, is probably going to be grayed out. Um, but let's see, if you go to settings, um, app settings is not actually a button. That's just showing you, um, it's like a little title there. Um, refresh app. If you ever notice that you have out of date images or anything kind of crazy, um, or you can't access something, tap the refresh button that kind of clears the cache for the app and allows you to move forward from there. And let's see. Yeah, and same with customize. Customize is actually just a header there. Um, and then questions about multiple images. It does need to be in a collage unless you're using artwork. That is correct. Um, so you can either use them as backgrounds or you can choose a solid background and then add them over as overlays. Uh, and to click uh, lock, I am um, actually not right clicking. I'm just tapping on the thing that I want to lock. So whether it's the artwork overlay or the background, if you single tap, you should see the three dots in the top right hand corner. Um, if, you're, if, it's a, if it's an overlay, um, otherwise, if it's the background, you can um, just tap anywhere on the background. And let's see. Oh, and Bev says compliance is US compliance at norwex.com. Thanks, Bev. So that is where you need to go if you have any compliance questions. Uh, does the entire font have to be the same size if you're using a single text box? Yes, it will. Um, <clears throat> all of those will be the same size. If you want different sizes, you're gonna wanna create different text boxes for each uh, size that you wanna do. So um, add a word, put it however you want it, lock it in place maybe and then go back to the text tool and add more. So, all right, um, looks like that's everything in Q&A. Uh, I believe we have some questions in our uh, YouTube chat. So let me go ahead and run over there real quick. Uh, it is in our office suite now. Yep, you guys can access this through more information in your office suite. Uh, are we able to create Facebook cover photos for groups? Yep, already did that. Go ahead and use the custom ratio. And can we add our name to the repost photos? No, you cannot. Um, everything that is done on repost is just done created by Norwex. Um, so they have those just set, ready for you to share as is. Uh, and no, there is not a desktop version, Keely. I apologize. It was originally um, envisioned, developed. Um, everything is for on the go mobile. Uh, so you're gonna, either phone or tablet. Um, and Summer says all graphics still need to have the Norwex logo and independent Norwex consultant and your name and still needs to be submitted to compliance. Make sure you haven't added any incorrect wording or prices. All right, so go with what Summer says there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Going through chat back on Zoom. Everybody's hellos and all right. We are running short of time trying to get everyone before I go. Uh, do you have to choose? Okay, no, never have a scheduler box. If you don't have a scheduler box on your screen, it's just because you've got Android instead of iOS. 
Um, do, 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 do. Thank you to everyone who jumped in answering questions. Um, how do you delete items from the Photify folder? Okay, so yep, go back to your um, graphics, or excuse me, your photo um, galleries and you can do that. And then delete projects, do, do, do. Keeping going, I'm keeping looking. Hey, Christopher, doing your first party ever this week. Awesome, congratulations, good luck. I hope it goes very well. Um, okay, so if you use that before you join Norwex, how do you switch back to my previous screen? So Tina, as long as you have the same um, email address for your previous account that and when you registered for Norwex, it's super easy to go back and forth. If you look at the bottom of the screen, um, I can't see it on my computer because the Zoom menu is blocking, but um, hopefully you can. At the very bottom, there's this little toggle here that says personal. If you click on that, it'll go back and forth between your business and um, personal. I should say any Norwex when you're on the personal side. So you can go ahead and create both sides there. Um, let's see. Did Facebook profile cover already? Yay. All right. Is there a way to redo? Went over that already. Uh, changing text colors. Got that. Mind blown. Awesome. Um, just start using Save Project. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Brand new, very tech challenge. Just waiting to go for help setting up an account. Uh, Kelly, photify.com forward slash Norwax is where you can set up that account. Super easy. And then just download the, the Photofy app from your iOS or Google Play Store and then uh, sign in. So you should be good. All right, I had a picture of yourself, show, show Spider-Man. So Spider-Man is actually a different um, uh, company. These, these are all just images that I create because I do all my tutorials on this phone. So that's Sensi if anyone's interested in that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Let's see, uh, 9.99 per month is not for, uh, is that your office suite, Christopher? I'm not sure, I don't wanna include the website and photo I'm assuming that you were talking about office suite there. So, um, do, 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 do. Lisa, if you have the app already, you can still sign up at photofy.com forward slash Norwex. Um, it does not matter. If you already have a Photofy account um, that does not match up with the email address that you use in Office Suite, but you have purchases on that, let me know. Um, or you can sign in and change your email address in the app. Um, either way, but I would update your email address first to match the one that you're registering with Norwex. Um, if it's not the same, that way you don't have multiple accounts in the system. We don't have a way to merge them right now. So, um, it would have to be, um, you know, signing out and signing back in and all that kind of stuff. So, um, do, 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 do. Lois, this is already available on iPad, unfortunately not for the computer. So you can uh, download in your app store and just log in with the same email address and password. And Tammy, um, it did start, it was 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. I'm sorry, um, I'm still getting through a bunch of questions, but this recording will be available on our tutorial page. So you can access this at any time. And So on the personal side, most of those settings are available. Let me go ahead and go over to personal. Um, as far as like projects go, here's the regular stock photos. Um, but yes, projects is available. Um, and if you've got, you know, different features in here, you can add uh, colors and stuff. Color spectrum, like the fonts will be different because these are not what, um, other people or what Norwex is loaded. And I do have custom fonts in here. But you'll notice uh, here's my colors. And I do have color spectrum on this account so I can show it, but um, it is a separate purchase. So there are some things 
if you have, I mean, if you're on the personal side and you want to keep creating just for personal stuff, we've got this whole marketplace here in the top right where you can grab different artwork and stuff. There's a um, direct sales package and all kinds of stuff in here under industry packs that you can get. Um, so that would be, you know, if you're creating on your own outside of the Norwex subscription. So, um, Kathy, you can't go to PhotoFi and do anything. You're all registered. So make sure that you're signed into the app. If not, um, tap on the menu in the top left-hand corner. And that's these three buttons here. And then if your email address is appearing at the top, then you should see it. If you don't, tap on settings and then refresh your app and you should be good to go. If you don't have an email address here or if your email address is different than the one that's you signed up with, with your Office Suite subscription, you'll wanna sign out and sign back in. Um, if you still have troubles, go to support.photofy.com, click on submit a request in the top right-hand corner and submit a ticket. And I'll get that and take a look and see what's going on with your account. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And let me see. All right, so I think that's everything in chat. A few more popped up in Q and A, so let me get through these and then I'll let you guys go. I know we're way over time, but I just wanna make sure that you guys um, have all of your questions answered. Can you group stuff together in the app? So grouping is kind of a, a funky thing, um, I guess to say the least. Sometimes when you do it just right, um, it will, oops, let me go ahead and grab a background. It will kind of automatically group things. Um, I don't have any specific rhyme or reason. Um, I still need to change this, it's driving me crazy. And then, um, let me see, we'll just grab that. And I wish there was, let's see, apply. I wanna say there's a way, okay, so if you push and hold, it groups them together and then you can move them together. So I just, I pushed and held it there until it, it grabbed them together. So I believe that would be the, the group feature. And then I tap outside of it and it's individual again. So, hey, look, I learned something new today too. That's kind of cool. And I've done it by accident, but I've never done it on purpose. <laughs> um, how can I make sure my Norwex independent is all the same size on all of my images? Um, that is a good question. I don't believe there's actually a way um, because they're all kind of individual artwork pieces. Um, so unfortunately that is not exactly the easiest thing, but I do know if you have the grid lines turned on, let me see, top, top bar here, you can turn these on at all the time instead of just when you're moving things around and you can actually make them a couple different sizes. So there's really large and then, then a little bit smaller. Um, you can use that to kind of gauge your sizes. So if you want them to actually fit within maybe two boxes, you can do that. So that would be one trick um, to doing that um, and just having your grid lines on. And then if you wanna see your image without all that stuff, you just use those two arrows next to your done button. And then Let's see, is there a mirror feature in photos? Let me see, not for artwork, unfortunately. There is a mirror feature for like your background image, which isn't gonna show with this background image, um, but not for photos or artwork itself, unfortunately. Um, but if you're trying to maybe use an arrow, let's see, that arrow you can flip it, let me see. Yeah, hmm. good point. Siri's talking to me. So yeah, unfortunately there's not, but um, I'll look into that too. Yeah, I can see how if you wanted to move this to the other side, you can kind of twist it and use it that way. Um, but I'll see if there's, I'll, I'll put that in the wish list for sure. All right, so um, can I find an option to get started on Photofy Joe? Go to photofy.com forward slash Norwex. 
and that's where it'll take you to the registration. And then if you can't get the app, um, you should be able to just open up your app store and search for Photofy content creation. And then we'll come up there. So that would be where you can find the app. Uh, can you align them together? Alignment? Yes. So if you want to align different things, if you're, I'm still on, where am I at? Sticker. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Uh, I know with text you can, let me see, a line, you can kind of tell it where you want it to be. Um, so you'd actually have to do each individual piece. But if I want to put middle, edit, go down, I want middle, middle of the page left or middle of the page right, something like that. So you can use the alignment tools at the bottom of the format there. Um, all right. So I'm going to um, go ahead and let you guys go. I know we've run over by about a half hour. So I appreciate y'all sticking with me. Um, and if you have any other questions, please, please, please come on through um, photofy.com um, forward slash Norwex is where you'll register. And then um, go to, uh, oh, one more question popped up. How do I create a save name and website to reuse over and over? Um, so Christine, that should be in your tokens. Um, but if it doesn't happen that way, there is something that's actually called the text preset. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick and then I'll let you guys go. So go to your settings and text presets under customize and you can add one here. So let's say Jane Smith. Hit OK, add another one, um, photofy.com, hit OK. So now anytime you use the text tool, um, it will show up. Now it's going to be a little weird on this screen, but you can kind of see it right here. Um, oops, let me get my mouse on the right screen here. Um, so if you hit text, Yep, there you go. You can click right here. So Jane Smith, photofy.com. Hit apply and you're good. You can still go through and format however you need to. So, do, 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 do. so text presets are pretty cool. All right. So thank you guys. Um, <laughs> and I appreciate uh, y'all sticking with me for this. I know this was. Um, long. It was longer than usual, um, but I appreciate y'all sticking around. Again, this will be available in the um, Vimeo uh, showcase. So go to photofy.com forward slash Norwex, go all the way to the bottom, look for video tutorials button, and that'll take you straight over there. Um, this is going to take a little bit of time, but hopefully um, there are, uh, it'll, it'll go by, you know, I'll have it up there before the end of the day for sure. So thank you for everyone who joined. Uh, again, this is Monica Brady, and um, we will see you next month. Hopefully I'll try to think of some new fun things to do. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Be safe. Be healthy. See you later.